Hey guys, Darren here with Telekinesis Studios. Uh, we're doing a quick tip today on how to import an AAF from Final Cut 10 using the uh, X2 Pro exporter uh, into Nuendo 5. So here we go, let's dive in. Okay, so first thing you want to do is export the AAF out of Final Cut Pro using the X2 Pro plugin. I'll walk you through that, it's really quick and easy. So the first thing you need to do is get into your project and Take the project you want, you have to go into the project library, select your project, go up to file, export XML, that's fine and we're going to put it in our current project, there we go, save it, and it's done, it's very very quick. So there's our Abbey Normal long form, go down. We need to open up X2 Pro Audio Convert. Brings up this little window, it's very simple. You drag your Final Cut XML in there. It finds it. We're gonna go 24-bit because we recorded high quality audio. Convert. Sometimes it takes a little while to convert because it's adding all of the audio files into the AAF so that when you hand it off to your sound editor, they have everything that they need with it. Okay, it says minor problems were found. Don't worry about that. A lot of these problems are actually going to be going away. Uh, it doesn't support audio fades right now, but I've talked to the X2 Pro people and they're going to be supporting a lot of those things in the future. Besides which, if you're taking this into New Window or you're handing it off to somebody else to do all of the sound post, they're probably going to want to get rid of your audio automation and then kind of do their own stuff with it anyway if they're any good. So don't worry about that. Click close. <clears throat> and then you find, okay, so this went into my movies folder. I just happen to have that right here. X2 Pro Audio Convert. There's your AAF. All you have to do is copy that to a drive or send it to your sound editor and you're good to go. So first thing we want to do is uh, navigate over to where our AAF is. I've got it on a hard drive over here. Um, make sure you know where that is. Switch over to Nuendo and we're going to go File Import AAF. Pretty simple stuff there. Uh, we're not going to create a new project or anything. You can just go directly to import and click on AAF. Uh, then what we're going to do, it's going to give you a dialog to navigate to that again. Uh, so we're going to go to our Muse transfer and Muse Music Interview is the one that we're working on today. So double click to open that. Um, it's also going to ask you to set project folder uh, for Nuendo. We'll do the same thing there. Um, and then you get your import options. We're going to select all tracks. Uh, import all media files is fine. And then click OK. If you know that there's tracks you don't want, for example, if you know that uh, you know one and two, uh, you can kind of notice that our track names are showing the uh, roles that we gave them in Final Cut 10. So if you label a track or a, a region, uh, as a dialogue track or as a music track, those are going to come through with this X2 Pro importer. Um, but go ahead and select all tracks if you don't need them because it's on camera audio or something like that. You can go ahead and deselect those, but we're going to bring everything in. Select all tracks and click OK. Um, and then an important dialogue is going to come up. What you want to do is click on No because you want the, uh, the AAF you want Nuendo to reference the embedded media. Not really sure why this works, why it doesn't work, but for some reason when you click Yex to extract media, I was having issues with that. So click on No. It's just going to reference the audio that's in the AAF. And then here we go. We're in Nuendo. You can see the tracks come in. The roles are in parentheses on the different tracks. And we're just going to let this kind of build for a second. It says image is under construction. It's just kind of referencing everything. We can uh, zoom out a little bit. Let you see the whole session there. In the meantime, you could actually go through and uh, import your video file. In this case, we uh, recorded an interview. So we're going to go in and find that one, bring that in along with the, uh, the video. Uh, Muse Interviews and Muse Interview Movie. There's our video. It's going to bring in the audio from that as well. Give that a second to think. And we'll be back in a minute.
and we're there. Okay, and we're back. Uh, everything's been downloaded and referenced. All of our, you can see the waveform is showing up on all of our different audio files. And then we have our uh, audio and our video track. This is the audio from the video. One thing I like to do, if you click this little slash button, it gives you kind of a divided workspace. You can grab these three up here, pop those up there, kind of shrink them up to get them out of the way, and mute these original tracks, and then you're good to go. So you're up and running. You can see that our audio imported in the right way. The AAF kind of lined everything up. In a different tutorial, we'll kind of go through um, you know, how I like to set up things so that sometimes your AAF, you know, imports things so that your tracks aren't right next to each other or they're in the wrong order or maybe an order you don't prefer. So we can go into that at a later time, but. All right, so there you have it. Um, we've used the X2 Pro exporter to get our audio out of Final Cut 10 and into Nuendo 5. Uh, works pretty seamlessly as long as you kind of go through the proper steps. So we've done that for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thanks.